what is up everybody another enigmatica five i know right i just can't stop playing it feels terrible no I'm just kidding. no it's feeling pretty good um i wanted to bring you guys in on a couple of notes and then we'll recap a little bit so one of the interesting things here is boom we are 24 of 24 citizens yeah Indeed. We have zero unemployed, zero children. We are maxed out at this point in time with an overall happiness of 9.2. We are actually short one student. Okay. Our composter finished. I assigned to that guy. We got four deliverymen, two builders, right? So nice little overview of what we have. A lot of knights, one ranger, things like that. Okay. Equally on our build list, we still have a lot of things to build. A lot of things to build, to say the least. So I think one of the things that I definitely need is another builder. But if I'm maxed capacity on citizens, I can't get any more. So over here, under the research thing, under civilian, I've been slowly but surely researching the cap increase. So now we can go over 25 all the way up to, I believe, 49 before we need to do the next level, which requires a Citizen Hut level 5, which I don't have anyways. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What is this? What even is that? Anyways. Um, so yeah, working on that one. Hopefully that one will be finished right away. Um, and then we can expand on our, on our you know, economy. Our, our colony here. And one of the big things here is... We are going to actually run into a, a bit of a problem. We're short a person, but we can pull from the library. We have three people in the library just kind of sitting there doing library things. And uh, yeah, all that jazz. So I think we can pull from them and still capitalize pretty good. I'm just going to do a quick little uh, mining here of sugar cane. If that's okay with you all, you know. Apologize for the loud noise, um, but you know, it's a thing that we're dealing with. Now this is a sugarcane farm, am I right or am I right? Holy crikey, that's <laughs> a lot of sugarcane. Yikes, I've never done that before, that was pretty fun, that was pretty fun. Okay, anyways, uh, let's head on over. I need to get paper to the librarians, is basically what I'm doing here. And then we actually have some projects to work on. And less colony projects today, right? Um, one other quick note, you guys saw it probably when I flew over it. The, um, the whatchamacallit, the hospital is being built, which is cool. Um, so the schematic that I used and everything like that, it is currently being built. Does it work? I don't know. I hope so, right? I certainly, do dirtenly hope so. Um, but I'm not positive on that. So, yeah, these guys go through paper like no tomorrow, by the way. So just to let you all know, there you go. Have paper. Have paper. Paper for days. Anyways, um, as you can see, the, the hospital that we... We built, we built this in creative last episode, is currently being built by our builder. Oh boy, did I put that? What is this rope for? What is this construction tape for? Hello? What is that construction tape for? I don't, I, what? What? Huh? What? What is this? What? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I don't even know. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so lots of good things are being done. What do you need? Glass panes. Okay. So one of the cool things that I've kind of figured out over time is that they will only basically request things when they actually cannot complete them or we cannot get a delivery from the, um, whatchamacallit, the normal place, the warehouse. So that's when they'll get the little red thing, whether that's a, you know, whether that's a glass pane or it's like a pickaxe or something along those lines. But as you can see, everything is 
pretty copacetic here. I believe I need to make the red carpets as well. If I remember correctly, I think I'm out of those. Uh, so let's just make a few of those as well. Very good. I should honestly make the cotton seeds compostable. That would probably be a good idea. Okay, boom. Red dye. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at me go. Look at me go. 24 red carpets. I can't remember how many we needed. We needed 20. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. All planned. All according to plan. Okay. On to other things. All right. On to some other things. Um, just quickly. So, obviously, hospitals being built. That's pretty cool. Um, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. You're delivering stuff to where? Anyways, um, so that's being built. Cool. I don't know about that other tape, but that's fine. This right here is our composter level one. This has been completed, which is great. This will allow us to get compost, and compost is actually something that our um, one of the researches requires. I think it's 64 compost, so, so that's pretty sweet as well. So, I, and I think the only way you can get it is through actually having a composter hut so yeah one of those fun little things also let's worry about our digging you know i've been using all this tetra stuff i've been using all these hammers i've been using all this and that you know we have a fortune three pickaxe i have a silk touch pickaxe um through our villagers over yonder um equally pointing out i've got a whole bunch of spawners and things like that so we can really go to town one day and just have a bit of fun right absolutely have a bit of fun with some of this stuff down the road okay um equally in chance i got a faster attack um faster attack which would be pretty cool and i'm kind of thinking of i'm kind of leaning towards going away from the tetra stuff and into just standard tools again right and for a couple of reasons i find going over this box a little annoying not gonna lie um so let's up our game let's try something that i've never played with before let's try ourselves with an infinity drill yes indeed now the cool thing about the infinity drill is it does require power so i got a little energy cell over here and we can start to charge it right boom 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 no big deal right i don't want to drain my entire system as i don't have um anything cooking so let's throw that into our coal generator back here right and uh yeah but it's pretty darn sweet i like it now power for next tier i'm not sure if this actually uses power or not all right so if I try to mine this right now, boom, it mined it. Sweet. 258. 248. So 10,000. 10,000 energy for those two, one block each. Yikes. This is going to be an energy hog, to say the least. Now, I think, ah, yes, the next tier will allow us to upgrade the area that it can mine. So I definitely want to get myself um, more power and up to the next tier, right? All in due time. Oh boy, southeast, here we go. Let's go, raiders. Let's do this. You don't know who you're messing with, chumps. I know where you guys spawn, and I come in with fury. You think you're barbarians? I'm the barbarian. I'm the barb. Yeah, all these archers getting rebuked, rebuked by me. Rebuked. All right, cool. Uh, so that's pretty much the raiders. As long as I'm here, it's okay. If I'm not here, people die. <laughs> okay, come on. I'm trying to make a video. And you guys are very annoying. Okay, we good? We good. Awesome. I defended my colony. Hooray, I am Hail the Conquering Hero. Bum, 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 bum. And then I, I got to spend another five minutes just deleting stuff. Anyways, um, 
where was I? Where was I before we got raided? I don't remember. Oh boy. This this keeps happening. Oh yeah, the drill. That's what we were doing. So the drill has two things as a part of it here. It also says biofuel. So I'm kind of curious if with biofuel will it use less power? Okay. So let's work on a biofuel system. So let's get ourselves a biofuel. Is it generator? Is that what I want? Hold up. Hold up. Biofuel. Biofuel is created in a bioreactor. That is completely different than a biogenerator. That is completely different than a biofuel generator. I need a bioreactor, which is sugar, slime, bricks, pity machine frame, plastic, and a diamond gear. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Let's take all of these back. Yikes, that was close. That was close. Not going to lie. Okay, so we need a diamond gear. Boom, four. I assume that this one's correct. Ooh, I, we successfully completed the outpost. Sweet. That means we can get more beautiful, beautiful villagers. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, bioreactor. Boom, sugar, bricks. Bricks, I got. Sugar, I got. Excellent. And, God, I already forgot. It's fine. Slime balls. I got those too. Excellent. Okay. Let's get ourselves this bio reactor. That's the one we want. That's the one. That's the ticket right there. Okay. Beautiful. So I'm going to throw that guy down there. It does require power, um, all that kind of stuff. And it does require something bio, right? Um, whatever that may be. So can these be biofueled? They cannot. Okay, so just by clicking use, you can see what's what can go in the bioreactor, right? Or you can literally look at all the recipes and all the things that we can put in the bioreactor. There's 23 pages worth, including all dyes, things like that can all be put into this guy, including the Batania dyes, which is pretty cool. All heads can be done, mushrooms, you know, mostly the organic stuff. And this is one that I was curious about. Seeds, turnip, okay, cucumber. Spinach seeds can be used, excellent. Cotton seeds can be used, excellent. We have both of those. Canaf seeds can be used. Well, 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 don't mind me whatsoever. Let's use up some of these seeds that we have lying around, right? This seems like a great way to go. Not the rice seeds. I'm currently composting those. But these other ones? Ooh. Might as well, right? So how do we... Cotton seed? Cotton seed? Cotton seed? Why can't I put in more than one? Knaf seed? Is it just like... It, it restricts you to one thing? Is that what's going on here? Efficiency 22. Oh, I think I remember this. You have to put in multiple different types to increase your bioproductivity efficiency, as you can see, um, just by adding in additional items, okay? This is very cool. I forgot all about this. Okay, tomato, no. Um, pumpkin? And eh, we'll leave that for now. And... We don't really have much else. Can we do cactus through here? Or does it have to be cactus green? It has to be cactus green. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. Um, we'll put that back. And... Is there any other ones? I guess we could do the rice seeds, but... Um, but yeah, okay. So we get to do a whole bunch of different stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I wanted to take these out as well. Um, at some point in time here. So, what this is doing, so say this is all that we have for now, right? We should be producing biofuel, bio right? Progress. Why are we not producing biofuel? Hmm? It should be producing, right? Progress, ETA, 4, 3, 2, 1. It should be making it. Why are we not able to make it? Hmm. 
That should work, right? Oh my god, that jump boost is crazy. Okay, there we go. We can get rid of that calamari from when I was killing squids. So, what is going on here? Why is it not... Do we have to fill this completely with different various things? I'm guessing we do. Before it starts to work, maybe? Hmm. Very, very curious. Okay. You know what? Let's just give this a quick try with... Mm, I don't really want to use cyan. I'll find something organic here. All right. So it does require water to be filled in, even though I'm getting 100% efficiency right now, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong that I'm getting so much. Um, and we can do our quick test. So we're at 248. Still at 248. It used biofuel instead. Okay. 8634. 8631. That is highly efficient. I like that quite a bit. Okay. So now we've got to figure out a situation to get water into this thing permanently. And I don't think it's going to be a very hard uh, problem to have. By the way, we're researching uh, combat armor is basically what we're doing there. Oh, look at this. My boo. Beautiful build is coming along. Very nice. Very nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. I love it. I love the fact that we're getting that. That's awesome. Okay. So what I think we'll do is we'll probably do just a sink is my guess here. Um, pretty easy from cooking with blockheads. Very easy craft as well. So we'll just do a kitchen sink. We have so much terracotta. It's not even funny. And then let's take a look at some fluid pipes of some sort. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So we have the basic ones as well. Ooh, slime balls. Ooh, those are expensive. Those are expensive. Um, hmm... You know what? I think it's okay, though. Slime balls, iron, glass. Okay. You know what? It is what it is. We probably need to find a good source for slime balls. Just going to say, um, kind of sort of lacking in those, but that's fine. Okay, basic fluid pipe. Beautiful. Okay. And I probably need an extractor. If I'm not mistaken, this is probably something that I require, which is that with a piston. Okay, let's use this piston right here. And five more iron. These pipes are a little expensive. I'm not going to lie. Oh boy, a little bit of lag. That's fine. No big deal. Just, just you know, literally playing way too much of a video game. It's fine. Okay, so uh, let's do this quickly. Okay, boom, boom. Awesome. Okay, so what I want to do is we want to place down the sink, right? We need the sink to fill the bioreactor there. But I also would like the sink to fill our latex processing unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the sink. Hmm, where am I going to place the sink? I might place the sink right down here. Yeah, I might actually place it down below. Like fill in this a little bit. And then I might just go like so. So we don't need it in there. Okay. So let's just do this. Boom. Boom. Okay. Excellent. And then from here we can go water is going to be only in the back. Action enabled. Disabled. Disabled. Disabled, disabled, disabled. So it can only come in from the the rear here. Okay. And then we can put ourselves the extraction plate on that. Is it gonna work? Redstone ignored. Basic extracting. There we go. we we got water. Excellent. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. All right. And then we need it up there. What I might should I get another extraction plate? Or should I have redone this a different way? Probably, right? I probably should have just done it proper uh, the first time. So we'll go up like that and across like that. Now this guy here, we do not want. Um, how do I stop that from happening? 
how do I stop that from happening? Refined pipes? Pipes. Refined pipes. There we go. Okay. Is there any way to stop that? How do I... Is it just like a wrench of some sorts, perhaps? Uh, let's see if we can't make like a wrench of some kind to make this work. Or if there's one that's not part of it. Silent mechanics, RF tools, RF tools, power, cyclic, 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 energy cable, cyclic. Okay. What is this one? Refined iron? No, too much effort. This one. Blue with iron. Let's see if this one works um, first and foremost. Okay. Uh, the Ender IO one, hopeful, or RF Tools one, I should say. Sorry. Smart wrench. Are you smart enough to disable <laughs> this? Nope, you are not. Use as a normal wrench. Right click to rotate machines. Okay, that one's not smart enough. All right. We have a wrench for later, I guess. Um, okay, I got to figure out this whole wrench thing. And then we'll uh, go from there, I guess. Because, yeah, this is a little bit of a, a bit of a pain. Well, that's actually pretty cheap. All right, so I tried a couple of different wrenches with no luck. And I went and looked online at the mod site and surprise surprise it is not currently available uh, for use so for now we're just gonna go with our standard of not connecting things okay and this can be a little bit of a pain there we go okay sometimes it's hard to connect onto those little guys so just kind of keep that in mind okay water we are going to also just say from the back Right, enabled from the back, good to go. That'll create, is it 1440 per bio, for, per cycle? That's pretty good if it is, right? Um, biofuel, yeah, 1440 per with this type of an efficiency. Okay, that works for me. Now we do have nine items in here, which becomes a little problematic, I, th I feel. It must be raining, right? Are all my people just walking around like a bunch of nincompoops? Yep. Yep, it's raining. I really wish that the rain didn't apply even when in a mesa. Just saying. But it does. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, it's raining. Nothing's being done in the village. That's basically how that works. Okay, cool. Let's put away these items that we had on us. Excellent. We got a lot of spare equipment, which is going to be really good for guards and stuff like that as we progress moving forward. Okay, so let's just think about this. So we have ourselves this guy right here, and we can get a decent amount of biofuel pretty easily. This can hold a million, which is really, really neat, really awesome. Um, we definitely do not have enough power. No matter which way I slice it, I never have enough power right now. And I kind of want to get more... I'm kind of liking the idea of the solar panels, but they are super expensive from power. Um, and they don't, they're not all that good, right? They're not that great. Um, I could easily cheese up some mechanism solar panels. Um, would be pretty easy to do. But like this one's 640... FE and it requires just a ton of stuff. So I don't know. I'm a little torn on what to do. I was kind of hoping to go the solar route, but that power mod doesn't seem to be all that strong until you get to like reactors, basically. So just one of those things to to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, this is working. We have biofuel getting produced. That's good. We also have tiny rubber being produced. Which brings us to the other issue of keeping a block down here, but we'll deal with that one soon enough. Right now, I'll do it manually. This guy needs to finish. We need you to finish. Hi, skeletons. Well, that's not scary at all. It's fine. No big deal. I'm sure my people will be just fine. <laughs> and then I also need a whole bunch of power. We need... 4 million RF to upgrade our drill to be able to do a 3x3. Three three. I guess one of the big questions that I do have, and we can go test it quickly, 
is if the drill can vein mine, right? Um, that should be a pretty darn easy test, all things considered. So let's go see if we have that capability. Because that would be really awesome if it could. But I doubt it. Oh boy, it can. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 That'll work. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, it probably used up a ton of stuff though. If I were to guess. <laughs> if I were a guessing man, I'm guessing it used up a ton of biofuel. Yeah, that's just a quick little assumption that I would guess just happened. But you know what? Using it on the ores might be a very good idea, right? Oh, hello. Little glitch. No big deal. Okay. But yeah, using it on the ores might be a pretty swell idea. So... Anyways, good to know. Good to know. Um, I need to go get some torches and stuff like that. But, yeah, it works. You can vein mine with it. That's pretty overpowered. Uh, you really don't even need to upgrade it then for this pack. Uh, you can literally just keep vein mining. <laughs> so, there you go. If you don't want to, you don't have to. 33,000. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Okay. So... I wonder if I can enchant this now, right? Can you enchant this drill? Are you going to be okay? Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. All right. Hopefully. Hopefully okay. Um, I wonder if you can enchant this drill. So let's just take a quick little gander up here and see if you can. Oh, my Lord, you can, and it is fortune. <laughs> well, guess what we're doing? 40 levels. Let's go. 40 levels. Wish me luck. Bam. Literally just fortune three. <laughs> but I got, an, I got an achievement. That's pretty sweet. And we got fortune three on our drill. Okay, now this really kind of exemplifies some of what I'm thinking. Okay, I need more villagers to give me more fun things. Okay, cool. Awesome. I love it. Uh, come kill these guys. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So we've got a very cool, we got a very cool toy um, that we can go ahead and utilize. Right, this drill is going to be pretty darn nice to have. We're at forty-six thousand biofuel just off of this. That's pretty good. That's really good in my opinion. Our water is doing well. Our input is pretty much from anywhere. So what I was thinking is. Let's actually make a couple... Mm, no, you know what? We can just do a chest. Do we have any more item pipes? Item pipes? Anywhere? No? Okay. Uh, item pipe. Let me do this quick little configuration. It's just glass and whatever. And iron. All things pretty cheap uh, to get some of these. I'll probably need another extractor. But let's do a quick little setup here. So if we go like this, and we go boom, pipe, and on top of that we have a chest we're going to extract out of there. And then we need oak saplings, wheat seed, spinach, carrot, potato, pumpkin. We basically need saplings and, and whatnot, right? To get this thing to fly. So let's get some items, okay? No big deal. We're going to grab just a few items out of our inventories here. Uh, we can definitely do the carrots. We can definitely do the potatoes. We should be good on both of those. Uh, spinach seeds, we don't have a ton of, but it should be fine. Uh, tomato seeds, again, not a ton of, but it should be fine. I'll make sure that we keep going with those. Um, the knaf seeds, we have a whole bunch. So we can keep those going. And the cotton seeds, we have a whole bunch as well. Okay. So these guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need one more. One more. And I think I had wheat seeds in there. Yeah. So we'll do wheat seeds as well. Okay. And I should have a whole bunch of them here, which I do. Beautiful. Okay. So what we can do is we should be able to throw in items here. 
And let's get another extractor pipe. Extraction. Five. I do wish you got more than one extraction for this, but just one of those little details. All right. Boom. We can extract, and it should fill the items. Right? No? Why is it not extracting? Oh, there we go. No, some seeds just went. Okay. It's definitely not fast by any means. This base level extraction is not the greatest, right? Um, but what it should do is it should catch up over time here and pretty much just fill what we need it to fill. So that's good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, hopefully this will keep going and we'll have a ton of biofuel moving forward um, just to keep on keeping on. Uh, poisonous potato. There you go. Congratulations. All right. Cool stuff. Um, I'll be back tomorrow on the next day here, and we can uh, we can see our hospital get completed. All right. So the hospital is completed exactly as we mapped it out. And, aha, uh -huh, please construct the hut to hire a worker. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Really? Is that a thing? Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that seems a little glitchy, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to let it bug me. I'm not going to let it bug me. It's working. It's working magnificently. We have the hospital. I have to uh, obviously make a few tweaks and adjust a couple of things, but we will have the hospital, and the hospital is pretty much completed, which is great. Um, so yeah, I think for tonight we're sleeping this one off. I'm sorry, but yeah, we're sleeping this one off. Oh boy. Yeah. Got there just in time. Come here. No, no. Come here. No, no. Don't you die on me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me your phantom membranes. Um, okay, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, builders, finish what you're doing, please. Please, I need you to finish. Um, all things considered, though, we do have the capability. Um, I think we were, we got our population increase, all that stuff. So, yeah, I think we're going to leave it here for now. Why does that say 24, maximum 24? I, what? I want more. I want more. Okay, did this just, like, fix itself, or do we have to build it? Let's see. Manage workers? Yeah, no, I gotta, like, rebuild it. So, they might have to tear the whole thing down and then rebuild it. I don't know what's gonna happen, but next time, I'll update you guys on exactly what that is. Um, I am completely out of dandelion, so I need to go get some supplies, because apparently all of my deliverymen decided to just stop working. So, anyways, that's it from me. Acrylic out. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Love the comments. Keep them up. I am having a blast. So, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now. See you.